Let's look at another change to the solo model. We're gonna start when we're in the steady state with our K star because what we notice is we notice that the amount of investment is equal to the amount of investment needed to stay in steady state because we're able to replace the depreciated capital and add capital for all of the new population growth. That gets us a level of investment right here. This gives us a level of investment that is equal to that amount that's needed to keep us in the steady state. So let's look at a change. What happens if we can see the savings rate go up in this economy? Well, the savings rate's right here. So we're going to see very similar to what we saw when it was a change in the technology. So this initial point, right, we see that this K, the initial one, as it increases, we see that now we have more investment than what's needed down here, which means we'll see it grow. And we know it's going to grow towards a new steady state. So we're going to see my steady state level of capital to labor ratio increase towards that point. And so we'll see overall investment our new level of investment increase. Now, some people might say, well, that's the same thing as sustained economic growth as we saw with the previous video with an increase in technology. But the increase in my savings rate, right, that's definitely capped. It's capped at 100. And if it was 100, then we wouldn't consume anything and we'd all die. So we know it can't be that high. So we only have a limited amount of room to increase savings rates. So still, what we need to see in the solo model to see sustained economic growth is those changes in technology, that change in labor productivity.